Alright, find a limit for this function as x approaches 3 from the right hand side. This one says find the limit of the function as x approaches from the left hand side. And so if we were to take a look at our graph, so let's say we plugged in some, some points into table of values. And like I said, we've been using our graph for this section for a while, so we know we ought to do that. It appears it is going infinitely, right? And over here too. And so, what number is this approaching? Let's see. So let's try this problem first. And this is saying from the right hand side. So if we plug in a number relatively close to 3 for our limit x approaching 3 from the left hand side, then we will get, so let's see, so let's plug in x equals 3.01 for this function right because this is our function on top and on the bottom too so let's see this is our function let's plug in 3 point zero 0.01 so then we end up with 2 times 3.01 divided by 3.01 minus 3. So what is this going to equal to? So if you had a calculator, you could just pl plug it in. If you don't, it's pretty easy to work it out by hand. So it would be 6.02 minus 3.01. If we take this, we move it. So that's one method, right? instead of just dividing and it's again it's 602 so we get 602 so from the right hand side right because this is what it says it appears as approaching affinity so we could put equals infinity doesn't mean that this exists right doesn't mean that this exists it just means that it approaches infinity and so likewise if we plug in a number relatively close for this part of our example let's say we plug in I don't know 2.99 right because that's relatively close to that side of the problem. So let's see. Right over here, it's going to be 2 times 2.99. If you're ahead of me, you could work out the problem. We know that's going to be bo the bottom part to be negative, so that's going to equal. What do you think it equals? Negative 0.01. On the top, it's going to be 5.0. What is that 9e? And like we did over here, we could move the decimal places. Move the decimal places. Divided by negative 1. And that ends up giving us negative 598. And so it looks like from the left hand side, it's approaching infinity too. And it appears that at x equals 3, which is 3, that we have a vertical asymptote. So keep that in mind.